بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تؤسر وتم بالخير Let's continue our lesson المدرس The teacher لعلكم أحضرتم دفاتر النحوي So as we can see over here لعلكم لعلا as we know that this is from the family of inna and here it is used for I hope لعلكم it's used for hope we know that لعلا can be used for hope and also it can be used for fear but here as the teacher says لعلكم so here كم is basically اسم لعلا and أحضرتم is خبر لعلا so now, how can the verb be khabar? So we know that it consists of tum, which is basically antum, and that is the khabar of la'allah. So kum will be ismu la'allah, and ahdartum will be khabaru la'allah. So ahdartum is fail plus file, and the fatira is maful bihi, mamnu min asarf, but here it will take fatha because it is maful bihi, and this is mudaf, and an nahwi is mudaf alayh. So I hope. You brought your notebooks of Nahav or grammar. So we can see here that Ahdara Yuhdiru Ihdaran it means to bring. If we talk about a Thulathi verb, the verb that has three root letters, it will be Hadara Yahduru. That means to attend. Hadara Yahduru Huduran to attend. But when we take it into form number four, it becomes Ahdara Yuhdiru Ihdaran. That means to bring. Ukashatu, naam, ahdarnaha. Yes, we brought them. So ahdarna, fail plus file, and ha is maful bihi. All right. So ha, this is for feminine, right? The the pronoun for the feminine. What does it refer to? Yes, anyone there? Naam ahdarna ha. Ha refers to the dafatir. Dafatir is the plural of daftar. So daftar is masculine, but when we talk about the the broken plural, and when it is something that is like not human being, it's like something like a thing or animal, then the plural will be singular feminine. So dafatir is singular feminine. That's why for dafatir we have the the damir or the pronoun of feminine. Naam, yes, ahdarnaha. We brought them or we brought it. Them will be better. Al Madarisu. Ha tu ha. Ha tu. Do you remember that this is ismul file, which is or ismul fail, I should say, which is used to make a command. Ha tu burhanakum in kuntum sadiqeen. Ha tu ha. Bring them. So ha refers to the to the book uh, to the notebooks. Uridu. So we know that Uridu is from number four. Arada Yuridu. And then we have Yuridu, Turidu, Turidu, Uridu, and Nuridu. Uridu, I want. An Uriyaha. Uriya. So Ara Yuri Iratan means to show. To show something to somebody. I want to show them Uriyaha Al Mudira to the manager. And we we need to know that. Ara yuri requires two objects. So ha is object number one and al mudira is object number two. All right, here ya has fatha. Why it has fatha? It has fatha because of an. As we know that after an, the mudare becomes mansub. So it was uriyu, but because of an, it has become uriya. So uridu uh, is fail plus file and an uriyaha. Al Master Al Mu'awal will be maful bihi. I want to show them to the manager. Sayusaru. All right. So can you figure out if it is a, a verb which is like thalathi mujarrad? Is it like three root letters or is it like uh, mazid fi? Anyone? Is there anyone to figure out? Thalathi mazid fi. Uh, thalathi mazid fihi and why do you say that excellent so it should be it should be asarra yusirru right 
بٹ اثر رہا یس یس پلیز ویل وی اٹ از مجہول پرفیکٹ اٹ از مجہور مجہول اوکے بٹ وی نیڈ ٹو نو دیٹ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ تلاسی مجرد دین وی نو دیٹ لا ملکلمہ ہیز تشدید فار ایگزامپل وی سے دلّہ سو لا ملکلمہ ہیز تشدید رائٹ بٹ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ مزید فی ان مزید فی عین الکلمہ شوڈ ہیو تشدید But here, Ayn al-Kalimah does not have tashdeed. Here, Lam al-Kalimah, which is Sarra Yasurru, has tashdeed. So that means this is from number one, Thulathi Mujarrad. And you are you're right, you figured out that this is basically uh, Majhul, this is passive. So Sarra Yasurru, and the passive of Mudare will be Yusarru. Yusarru. So this is basically Thulathi Mujarrad, because it has only three root letters, Seen, Ra, Ra. If you say asarra, then it will be yusirru, then it will be from uh, mazid fi form, but this is not mazid fi. So sa yusarru biha kathiran, as we know that it comes with the preposition of be, so he will be pleased with it, kathiran a lot, inshaAllahu if Allah wills. So he says that he will be pleased by it a lot, or he will be happily, or he will be very pleased by this, inshaAllah. یا امرو امرو ایز وی نو ہاؤ ڈو وی نو دس از امرو بیکاز دس واؤ ٹیلز اس دیٹ دس از امرن 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 اف وی ہیو اف واؤ از ناٹ دیئر دین اٹ ول بی امرو اٹ ول بی امرو بٹ وین وی ہیو واؤ دیٹ مینس دس از امرو یا امرو اسم یعنی بیت المتنبی الدی ذکرت ہو امسی آل رائٹ سو اسم یعنی یس This is basically Asma'a yusmi'u isma'an To make someone hear Samia yasma'u means to hear by yourself But Asma'a yusmi'u means to make someone hear That means to read to somebody To read to somebody For example if you are my student and I say Asma'ni darsak That means read your lesson to me So the teacher says Asma'ni bayta Here bayt means couplet Like in poetry, we have verses. So when we talk about two verses of, of poetry, that is called bait. And the plural, plural will be abiyatun. Uh, it's not to be mixed with uh, baitun, that means house. Baitun and the plural is buyutun. But this is baita, which means uh, al-mutanabbi is a poet. So that means uh, make me or read me or read to me. Uh, the, the couplet of the poet Al-Mutanabbi Alladhi dhakartahu amsi That you mentioned yesterday Amrun So Amrun says Now here uh, we, Because we don't have Ya Before this So we will say Amrun So Amrun says Wama Wama ta'neethu Lism al-shamsi aibun Wala tadkiru fakharun lilhilali So, wa, as we know that this is used to start a sentence or a couplet. Ma is ma an nafia, as we know that ma an nafia can be used with the pre, with the verbal sentence, and also it can be used with the nominal sentence. So, ma the habtu ila amali, I didn't go to work. Ma ana madarison, I am not a teacher. So, when you say ma ana madarison, ana madarison, as we know that this is a nominal sentence. So here, atta nithu is basically. Annatha yu'annithu ta'neethan To make something feminine So being feminine Lism is shamsi for the, for the name of the, of the sun Aibun A defect We know that shams in Arabic as we know Is feminine Because the Arabs called it feminine So being feminine Or the feminine name uh, For the sun Is not a defect for it Wa and la As we know it means not وَلَتْ تَذْكِيرُ And تَذْكِير means ذَكَّرَ يُذَكِّرُ تَذْكِيرًا It has two meanings. One meaning is to remind someone about something. Remind someone about something. And number two, to make something masculine. So أَنَّثَ يُؤَنَّثُ تَأْنِيثًا To make something feminine. And ذَكَّرَ يُذَكِّرُ تَذْكِيرًا Means to make something masculine. وَلَتْ تَذْكِيرُ And being masculine is not فَخْرًا Pride 
lil halali for the moon so being being masculine is not a matter of pride for the moon as we know that moon in arabic language is masculine so uh, basically the idea is that like the fact that the word shams is feminine is no defect or no discredit to the sun nor is the masculine gender of hilal a matter of pride for the moon al-mudarrisu the teacher qul say at-ta'nitha at-ta'nith wa akhrij lisanaka akhraja yukhriju ikhrajan to bring out wa akhrij lisanaka and bring your tongue out now it is about the uh, rules of the pronunciation of the letters like how to pronounce these letters so the teacher says qul ta'nitha say ta'nith wa akhrij lisanaka and bring your tongue out yajibu it is must ikhrajul lisani to bring uh, the tongue out and the nutqi while pronouncing bi thalathati ahrafin three letters so it's a must to bring your tongue out when you pronounce three letters ikhraj as we know that this is the masdar of akhraja yukhraju ikhrajan wa hiya athau so this is atha so what you basically you have to do maybe in front of the mirror or maybe you can practice by yourself you have to take the tip of the tongue out of your mouth and then you you have to say atha atha wa hiya athau wa dhalu and similarly dhal so these two are soft athau wa dhalu they are soft wa dhau and this is heavy so we need to be careful wa dhau but whenever we pronounce tha wa dhal wa dha we have to make sure that we take our our tongue out or the tip of the tongue should come out tha and dhal are light whereas dha is heavy adhunnu i hope or i assume annani as you know that whenever we have a verb after verb we use anna we don't use inna normally we use inna in the beginning of the sentence but when we use when we have a verb after the verb we use anna adhunnu i hope annani fahamtukum fahamtukum ma'nahu so fahama yufahimu tafhiman means to make someone understand fahima yafhamun yafhamu is to understand but fahama yufahimu is to make someone understand so i hope that i made you understand the meaning of it ma'nahu who refers to what it refers to the baytun as we have over here baytun min ash-shari yani this is the couplet of the poetry so ma'nahu the teacher says that uh, i hope i made you understand the meaning of it that means the meaning of of the a couplet of the poetry usamatu naam yes ma'nahu it means inna ma we have discussed in the previous lesson that it's a combination of inna plus ma so when we have ma after inna then the effect of inna will be removed it will not be effective anymore so inna ma ash-shay'u bi haqiqatihi indeed a thing is by its reality la bismihi and not by its name yani uh, whatever thing we talk about the it's it's by its reality and not by its name yani being masculine or feminine uh, is is not something uh, as we can be proud of it or we can be like ashamed of it it is something basically it's the deeds that are or it's the reality of something that is more important whether it's masculine or feminine so inna ma ashayu bi haqiqatihi la bismihi indeed a thing is by its reality and not by its name yani it refers to the uh, masculinity of of the moon and the femininity of the of the sun ali you now we have ali over there he says ya ustadu o teacher arju i request raja yarju arju i request an تسمح لي بالذهاب that you allow me this construction is not new to you you know this already أن تسمح لي بالذهاب إلى غرفتي I request you to allow me to go to my room فإن بي صداع شديدا as indeed I have severe headache فإن so we know that إن always has اسمه إن so what is اسمه إن بي 
Is this this Moina? Does anyone remember? Jar Majroor cannot be Ismoinna, it cannot be Muptada, it cannot be in the place of Muptada. So Sudan, as we can see over here, Sudan is Mansub. So Ismoinna is Sudan, and then this is Masuf, and Shadidan is Sifa. So Fa'inna Sudan Shadidan B, that is the regular construction. But we know that Jar Majroor normally comes ahead of the construction uh, for the purpose of emphasis. So he says Fa'inna B Sudan Shadidan. Uh, indeed, I have a severe headache. Al Madarisu, the teacher, Idhab. Uh, now we know that this is Fail Al Amr. Idhab. So it should be like this. Okay. Shifak Allahu. Go. May Allah heal you. So may Allah give you Shifa. So we know that this is uh, Shifa Yashfi. Past tense is used to make dua. So Ka is Maful Bihi and Ismul Jalala is the Fa'il. Shafaq Allahu, may Allah give you Shifa or heal you. Ibrahimu, Ibrahim. Ma Bihi Suda'un Ya Ustadu. He does not have headache. Okay, now, why Suda'un is Marfu over here? And here it is Mansub. This construction is uh, something that we have been discussing, I guess, from book one or book two. So you should be used to it now. Do you remember the example? Fi qulubihim maradun, fiha aynun jariyatun. So look, please remember that whenever we have jar majroor, after jar majroor, yes. Excellent. But this is mubtada muakhar and khabar muqaddam. Yes, excellent. So whenever we have Jar Majroor, normally after Jar Majroor, we have a common noun, as you can see here. Normally we have a common noun after that. And that common noun is basically Muqtada, but Muqtada Muakhar and Khabar Muqaddam. And Ma, as we know, this is Ma an Nafia. Ma bihi suda'un ya ustadu. He does not have hadik. Inna ma yakdebu. Indeed, he is lying or he is only lying or he is only telling lies okay now we learned uh, we have learned that innama can be used with the verbal sentence and it can also be used with the nominal sentence in this case it has been used with the verbal sentence innama yakdebu indeed he is lying so inna is only used with the nominal sentence with jumla ismiya but innama can be used with both it can be used with jumla ismiya and it can be used with Jumla Fairliya with both of them. Al Mudarrisu, the teacher. Wama Adraka Annahu Yakdebu. Wa and Ma, as we can see that uh, in the end we have question mark. That means this is Ma al Istifhamiya. Ma al Istifhamiya that is used to ask a question. Wama and what? Adara Adara Yudri Idara'an, as we know. Uh, that means basically to inform or to tell. So this is fail plus file and ka is maful behi wa ma adaraka and what informed you or how did you come to know annahu yakdebu that he is lying. How did you come to know that he is lying? So uh, adara as we know that this is used also it is used as an expression uh, as we have in the Quran wa ma adaraka ma laylatul qadr and what and who informed you or how what do you know about Laylatul Qadr or what Laylatul Qadr is? So this is a very beautiful expression that is used in the Arabic language. And who informed you or how did you come to know or and what informed you that he is telling a lie? Al Mudarisu Iyaka Wadhanna Ya Ibrahimu. We have discussed in the Handouts that when we have this construction, iyaka plus wow, and then after that the noun is mansub, that means we use it for warning. At tahdir, beware of assumption. Ya Ibrahimu, O Ibrahim, yani be, be, beware of assumption. Faqad qala al Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, iyaka wa dhanna, be aware of assumption or lying you can say or assumption or guessing basically فَإِنَّ ظَنَّ أَكْذَبُ الْحَدِيثِ فَإِنَّ 
that indeed avanna as we can see that ismu ismu inna and then akdabu is ismu tafdil which is used as mudaf and al hadith is mudaf ilay so ismu tafdil after that if we don't have a uh, we we don't have min after that that means we are using it for the superlative degree hmm? so we don't have min after that that means that iyaka wa dhanna be aware of or be aware of assumption fa inna dhanna indeed assumption akdhab al hadith is the falsest speech is the falsest speech so we have to use the superlative degree why because after that we don't have min so fa inna dhanna akdhab al hadith indeed assumption is the falsest speech wa qala azza wa jalla so please be careful over here most of the times people say azza wa jal it's not the way to say that uh, whenever we say this or these two verbs uh, we have to make sure that these are basically two different verbs they are mudaf so azza ya'izzu izzatan so this is verb number 1 which is mudaf uh, which means to be mighty or powerful or noble wow means and jalla yajillu jalalatan to be great or sublime so waqala azza wa jalla so whenever you use this expression these are two verbs uh, make sure that you say them properly and make sure that you say them separately so how do we say that waqala azza wa jalla both of them are from bab darab wa yadrabu azza ya'izzu izzatan wa jalla yajillu jalalatan do you remember we use the word lafzul jalala or ismul jalala so that word jalala that means might or mighty or to be great or sublime that comes from jalla yajillu so wa qala azza wa jalla so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty and the sublime said inna ba'da dhanni ithmun indeed some assumption is sin so we can see here ba'da means some and it is also used as mudaf and adhanni is mudaf ilay ithmun means um, a sin so inna ba'da dhanni ithmun indeed uh, some assumption is sin and this is from surah al-hujurat all right so alhamdulillah we have completed the text of the lesson and now uh, we will do the exercises at tamarinu uh, we will just do the first exercise and inshallah then we will continue in the next lesson so the first one is ajib anil as'ilat al-atiya answer the following questions as you know that this is ajaba yujibu ijabatan and fi'lul amr will be ajib for the singular person and if it is for many people for like masculine or if you have the mixed audience then you will see ajibu ajibu anil as'ilat al-atiyati so if i'm talking to all of you i will say ajibu anil as'ilat al-atiyati answer the following questions question number 1 limadha akhraja usama tu as-sabburata min al-fasli why did usama bring the board out of the classroom why did he bring the board out of the classroom do do you remember does someone remember that to clean it to clean it li li unadhifaha okay li unadhifaha to clean it perfect so akhraja usama tu as-sabburata uh usama brought the board out min al-fasli from the classroom li yunadhifaha to clean it so it was yunadhifu but because of li la mutalil it has changed into mansub so it has become li yunadhifaha uh, to clean it why because we know this la mutalil there is always unhidden in this so that's why it becomes mansub li yunadhifaha to clean it kam balaghat nisbatun najahi what was the success percentage balaghat reached nisbatu percentage an najahi success what was the success percentage i i think it was 97% right balaghat uh, yes balaghat nisbatun najahi sab'an wa tis'ina bil mi'ati 97% so the the success percentage was 97% limadha arada aliyun an yadhhaba ila ghurfatihi why did 
Ali want to go to his room. Yes, does anyone remember? Like why? Yes. Excellent. Um, he had severe headache. Perfect. So, Arada Aliyun an yadhaba ila ghurfatihi uh, Ali wanted to go to his room لِأَنَّ بِهِ سُدَعًا شَدِيدًا Because he was suffering from severe headache. All right. ماذا يريد المدرس أن يري المديرة أو أن يري المديرة What did the What did the teacher want to show to the manager? لا the the teacher wanted to show something to the manager. All right. So يريد المدرس the teacher wants to an yuria al mudira uh, to show the manager the fatara al nahwi the notebooks of grammar or the notebooks of nahav so he wanted to show uh, the the work of the students to the manager because he was so happy because the students did an excellent job all right so we have completed the first lesson and inshallah when we meet again in the next lesson we will continue the exercises سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاك الله خير وياكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاك الله خير وياكم